A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. I was so happy when I finally received my C's. Y'all, it was a long time coming. Welcome back to my channel. My name is T Slater, and these are five things you should do once you receive your C's. So the first thing you should do once you receive your C's, change your credentials, right? Change them. Take off the CF, put CCC SLP. I'm talking about in your email, when you're signing paperwork, in your documentation, change it. CCC SLP. The second thing you should do when you receive your C's, ask for a pay raise. Why? Because you deserve it. <laughs> Once again, you deserve it. You are now an independent speech language pathologist. You deserve a pay raise because before you weren't independent, right? You were working alongside a CF mentor, right? Now you're independent, okay? You have your C's. You have a certificate that shows that you are competent to practice as an independent speech language pathologist. You deserve a raise. You deserve a raise. You deserve a raise. When I accepted my CF position, they told me, hey, once you get your C's, you're getting a pay raise. And guess what happened once I received my C's? Your girl got a pay raise. The third thing you should do once you receive your C's is check with ASHA about your continuing education units. When you are a CF, you do not have to get any continuing education units. Once you get your C's, you have to start working towards those continuing education units. It's always good to reach out to ASHA to see your status for the continuing education units. The fourth thing you should do once you receive your C's is find a PRN job. Now that you are licensed, you have your certificate saying that you are competent to work as an independent speech language pathologist, get a PRN job just to have extra money, extra money to do whatever you please with, right? Maybe extra money to pay off debt, maybe extra money to save for a down payment on a house, maybe extra money to save for a down payment on a new car, anything. There are so many PRN opportunities out there. You can seek a PRN job in a totally different setting just to get more experience. The fifth thing you should do once you get your C's is celebrate your accomplishment, right? You have been in school all these years. You have just completed a nine month clinical fellowship. You deserve a celebration. Celebrate by going out to eat, celebrate by taking a vacation, celebrate by taking some time off from work. Whatever you decide, you should celebrate this huge accomplishment. Those are the five things I think you should do once you receive your C's. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like this video, leave any questions, comments, concerns, in the box below and also don't forget to subscribe see ya